Hello and welcome to another episode of Growing Organically for Wholesale Markets. Today we will talk about some of the benefits of being in the Organic Growers Group. The first of which is if you are already growing for wholesale markets and are using GAAP compliant processes, you already meet half requirements necessary to get your organic certification. GAAP stands for Good Agricultural Practices and you can learn more about inspection and certification at asdevelop.org forward slash ah. You will also benefit from a reduced cost in seeds and inspection, as well as knowledge and resource equipment sharing with the other growers in the group. Next, we're going to talk to Logan Hobbs on Robin's Family Farm, who was a part of the growers group last year. She's going to talk about some of the items she grew organically and their price differences with their conventional counterparts. I know I have a list of a, a few different vegetables that we grow, like comparing the prices of bell peppers conventionally they usually get nine to twelve dollars a box and organically you get anywhere from thirty two to thirty six dollars a box for the same size box and then another crop we grow is zucchini and conventional you receive um, eight to twelve dollars a box for a ten pound box for anywhere from a ten to a twenty pound box and twenty six to thirty dollars for the same Poundage. Another thing that we grow personally is heirloom tomatoes. Like a 10 pound box, uh, conventionally you get 13 to 15 dollars a box and organically you get 26 to 32 dollars a box. Oh wow. And winter squ uh, squash for a 30 count box, conventionally you get 12 to 17 dollars and organically you get 26 to 32 dollars. That's just from four items. As you can see, you can grow from a whole list of vegetables, all earning more than their conventional counterparts. So, if you are already growing for wholesale markets, and you have about an acre or two that isn't really in use or has been free of conventional inputs for the last three years, this group is perfect for you. Over the next 10, 12 videos, we're going to go through everything you can do with that plot of land to grow vegetables organically at a profit. Lastly, we're going to talk to Richard Moyer to hear what he has to say when I asked him why he started growing organically. So what attracted you to become an organic certified grower? Um, money. <laughs> I mean, the principles I've been doing, as I said, for much of my life. My father used to read organic gardening back in the 50s and 60s when I grew up. I remember seeing that magazine. Part of it is the certified organic grower to be, uh, there are certain buyers that are looking for certified organic produce or seed. And so it's a way to diversify our farm uh, in terms of risk management. Well, that's it for today. Hope to see you next week on Growing Organically for Wholesale Markets.